Don't forget that. <laughs> I think we just found our intro. Anyway, <laughs> wait, today, what intro? What would the intro be? You know, like before the titles. No, well, little, duh. I know that. But like, now we just found so another intro. Blue- So, you might be asking yourself, Jillian again? Yes. Why Jillian again? You just did a devotion with Jillian, didn't you? I didn't know you started it yet. <laughs> the answer is because Jillian bought me this awesome shirt, and she bought one for her. So, yeah. we match. See, and it says, fathers and daughters. No, father and daughter, not like fathers and daughters. Do you want me to stand up and you can show Aww, it? father and daughter. What the heck? No. <laughs> Not always eye to eye. You can't see the bottom. Yeah. You can't see the bottom of it. Okay, here, we'll zoom in on you. There you go. Ooh, let me get out of the way. There you go. Ooh, ah. So, anyway. Wait, so, since. The chair is stuck. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> So since Jillian bought me my new favorite shirt, <laughs> extreme close up. Of my face. <laughs> extreme close up. Um, since Jillian bought me my new favorite shirt, she gets to do another devotion with me. Now it's funny because she thought this was a punishment. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What? Nothing. I'm confused. No, I mean having to do another devotion with Dad. Uh, it's like a punishment. Anyway, welcome back to. Well, you can see my wrists. Like, I have invisible handcuffs. Like, I am being forced to be here. I have some zip ties around here. You do? Ooh, zip tie my hands together. I'm not going to zip tie your hands together. Welcome back to Devotions with Dad. Weekly Devotions with Dad. Weekly Devotions with Dad. (laughs) You you took out daily. (laughs) I did. (laughs) You're quick on the update there, aren't you? (laughs) Anyway, today... We are going to do another devotion from the Institute for... Oh, sorry. This is Jillian. Hi. This is Dad. Or Seth. Hey. Whatever you want to call right. him. So, she's Jillian. I'm Dad. He's God. We're not. We're not. Neither are you. Don't forget that. <laughs> so, oh, <sorry. laughs> I think we just found our intro. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, today, what intro? What would the intro be? You know, like before the titles. No, well, little, duh. I know that. But like, now we just found another so the blooper, intro. The blooper reel. Yeah. Not well, not the whole intro. blooper reel. People don't understand. this. These take us about four hours to do. Especially I mean, when you get me t- up here, because, like, him. Like, he's... I didn't say <laughs> it. I didn't. I'm... No, I, I'm, I mean, you're talkative. Oh. That's my... Today's devotion comes from the Institute for Creation Research's Days of Praise <laughs> for June the 10th, 2019. But if you're wait. watching and this is not June the 10th, 2019, and it's not, <laughs> but it will be tomorrow. Uh, well, anyway, today. if you're watching from today. the future. It will be today, not tomorrow. No, it's, I mean, it's tomorrow for us. True. But they're but watching, if I they're watching it today. Right. Now you, I'm confused. Today's devotion is called Inerrancy According to Christ. I don't know what that means. Inerrancy. You don't know what inerrancy means? I know. No, don't look it up. Look at the word. Inerrancy. And I'll even put it up on the screen. There you go. Inerrancy. There, read that. Don't actually read that. It's not there yet. It's not floating. Mm-hmm. Inerrancy. There. I can see that. What does it mean? I don't know. So what is... Well, okay. E-R-R. Err. What, is, what does that remind you of? Error. Error. So in Aaron, I got that really fast instead of last time where I'm like, Ugh. right. So what is the I N prefix? What does that sometimes mean? What does in errant mean? Um, like un. Yeah, like un, but in. Yeah, but yes, exactly right. So incomplete. So in errant means without not able to make errors. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's like Christmas. No, that was exactly Wait, right. Wait, what? It's like Christmas? It's like I opened a present and I got, like, sound theology for my daughter. It was awesome. Oh. No, that was great. That's exactly what it means. Not only is it is it not wrong, it is 
incapable of being wrong. Because Timothy, as Paul said to Timothy, all scripture is God breathed, right? So it's all, but anyway, so we're going to read about the inerrancy according to Christ. And the, the scripture for today comes from the book of Matthew, from the uh, Sermon on the Mount. Uh, chapter 5, verse 18. Take it away, Jillian. You do it, Dad. <laughs> do you want me to do it? Yeah, I do want you to do it. Okay. That's why I said take it away, Jillian. Take it away, Jillian. See, now I'm just going to make this awkward silence. <laughs> Your face. Come on, Jillian. Thanks. Okay. Hey, don't stare. I won't look at Jim. I won't stare. That'll be another timer. If you're wondering what the numbers are, keep oh up. Oh my gosh. Up. Sorry. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. I seem to remember. Matthew 5, I seem to remember, 18. and I think you all will agree, that I got a significant amount of grief for not saying the scripture after I read it. Well, this. last time I gave you grief for it, I was like, oh, but you already said it at the start, so I technically don't need to put it in, because you already said it. Remember, because you were all like, oh, well, some people say it beforehand, before the uh, verse. Did you so, say it beforehand? No, but you I did. I don't think you did. I just said it after. I know, but not before. That's all I'm saying. I'm not wrong. Okay. <clears throat> Here. <laughs> Here is the commentary of the Lord Jesus on the doctrine of, oh, another good word, plenary verbal inspiration. Let's start with inspiration. What does inspiration mean? Be inspired. To be inspired. What is inspiration? To be, it's to be breathed into. Like when you, when, when you, when you breathe, it's your respiratory system, right? Your rebreathing system. Breathe in, breathe out, repeat. Right? Yeah. Um, inspiration <laughs> is God breathed. It's putting into you. So the the doctrine of inspiration is what I said before, where Paul said to Timothy, all scripture is God breathed. It's inspired. Now, plenary, what does that word mean? Plenty? No, that's a good guess. I'm going to look it up. I know what it means. It mean plenary means full or complete, but the full the ap, the dictionary definition unqualified or absolute. Unqualified, absolute, full, complete. Um, well, what is, plenty, plenty is like a lot. So technically, I was like half right. 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 Yes. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Half a good job. Good. It's a good half job. No, good. Just and then the other word, verbal means the words themselves are vocalizations. vocalizations yeah but we're dealing with scripture so um. the plenary verbal inspiration means that the absolute total god breathedness the god breathedness the inspiration god breathedness the words themselves are inspired by god absolutely and completely verbal plenary inspiration not only were the words of the bible divinely inspired but even the very letters that's that jot and tittle. Do you know what a jot and tittle are? I heard of them. The well, let's find out. Oh, wait. I'm going to guess the jot was the smallest letter of the Hebrew alphabet, or yod, the tenth letter. Yod. Could you mean yod? That, too. I No, it's a weird thing. I know, I know. I'm being silly. Yeah. Just and scratch that out. Okay. <laughs> yes, so the yod or the, was the, uh, um, the tenth letter. And it's I don't speak Hebrew. I can't be to blame for this. So the yod is the, the jot. And so the tittle was the small horn-like appendage that transforms one Hebrew letter into another. So the tiniest letter, which is just a little dot, and I'm sure I've put it up on the screen by now and you've seen what a yod looks like. And then also the tittle, you'll see what a tittle looks like. These are the two smallest little marks in the Hebrew letter, in the Hebrew alphabet. So when Christ is talking about the, the word of God, he's talking about not just the words themselves, but even the little tiny, little tiny, little tiny things, the little tiny marks. You know, so, if you were to let me edit this video, I would count how many times you just said tiny. <laughs> You're like, it's a little tiny, a little, little, little tiny, if tiny. If you see tiny. a running count of tiny. Then dad let me edit the video. <laughs> Correct. 
So, and thus, a stronger to. statement of absolute verbal inspiration than this could hardly be imagined. He means every single word, every little bit of it. Further, the phrase in no wise is actually a double negative in Greek. You know what a double negative is? Oh, gosh, yes. School well, I mean, so you, annoying. You, don't, you don't not know. Oh, gosh. Right? Am I not? Wait, you don't am not, I not know. Am, no, wait, no, you don't, which means you don't. You don't not know what you to do. So yes, correct. I don't not know. In New Testament Greek, it was used for strong emphasis. It was not used for unweak emphasis. <laughs> and nowadays you get in trouble if you use double negatives. Uh, well, we're not, we're not Greek. According to You're none other Greek. than the Lord Jesus Christ himself, every word, even every letter of the law must be fulfilled. This certainly includes the books of the Pentateuch, including even the off-maligned and distorted... Often. Not often. Often maligned. Good job, Dad. And distorted opening chapters of Genesis. He applied the... And so what, when we talk about the oft, often maligned opening chapters of Genesis, he's talking about Genesis 1 through 11. Because most people will say, well, you know, yeah, Genesis 12 through the end it talks about history, Abraham, all that, but... Before that, you know, that's not real. Christ seemed to think that it was. Yeah. Uh, for, uh, so he applied the same principle to other parts of Scripture as well. Mm -hmm. In John 10, 35, he said, This Scripture cannot be broken. In the course of an exposition of Psalm 82, 6, based on, a single, on one single word in the verse, supporting the vital doctrine of his own deity. It's clear that Christ taught the doctrine of full verbal inspiration of the Holy Scriptures. What does that mean, verbal? Words. Every word. Yeah, the words, the words themselves. It is sad and inexcusable that so many today who call themselves Christians repudiate this vital teaching of the Lord Jesus by rejecting, diluting, or interpreting the plain statements of the Word of God. And, lest anyone equivocate by suggesting that since the original writings have all been lost, we can no longer know what the divinely given words may have been. We should remember Christ's promise. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. That's from Matthew 24, 35. So he really did teach the verbal plenary, the plenary verbal inspiration that all of scripture was God breathed and that we can have confidence that the word we have today is the word as it was originally communicated. That was good. Thank you, Jillian. Welcome. Welcome? Did I just show up here? <laughs> You're welcome. I'm welcome. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome. And thank you for joining us today. <laughs> if you haven't already... Or tonight, depending on when you're watching it. If you haven't already, if you would, please click the subscribe button below and with the little... Uh, bell icon comes up. Click on Wait, that did you too. Hear that? I did. That was you heard weird. it that time. I did. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Click on that, and so that you can get notified when we um, post something else. We don't want you to miss out on anything. I'm almost done with my next coloring. Jillian will have another coloring posted here soon. She's that actually has gotten a lot, a lot of, of positive views. positive reviews and people looking at it and stuff, which is really good. Uh, if you, um, I'm only probably because I had Christmas music. Yeah, and I've finished uploading, and I'm getting ready to. I mean, this after, this evening, I've got to go through all of these these videos of our uh, toxic waste challenge. If you don't know what that is, <laughs> get ready. <laughs> I'll put the link at the end of this video so you can watch it. Um, there's a bunch of them. There's five of the videos, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, it really hurt. It did. Um, anyway, thanks for joining us. Subscribe. Uh, come back. Watch again. Ring the like us. Bell. Ring the notification bell. Uh, we got to go. Thanks very much. God bless.